In today's video, I will be doing the swipe technique using my swipe tools. I practiced on a little one and I liked it so much I did a big one. All right, so stick around and check it out. I hope you're having a great day. I'm starting off with a small canvas. It's just a 3 by 12. This is kind of a practice with these colors and I just wanted to try the um, satin enamels as a base coat. So it's um, Deco Art Satin Enamel Linen mixed with Artist Loft Low Acrylic White and then I added some Liquitex Basics Copper. My swipe color is Amsterdam Lamp Black. I've got some Windsor & Newton Paints Gray and this one here. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. It is the uh, Folk Art Treasure Gold Antique Copper and the red is leftover custom metallic red that I mixed a while back and I'm using my swipe tools today. I'm using the smaller two sizes in my set. The set actually comes with four sizes, a six inch, a three inch, a one and a half inch, and a three quarter inch. And today I'm using the three quarter and the one and a half inch. All right, so you can see that I coated my canvas with the satin enamel mix. Um, the way that I mixed the satin enamels was one part of the satin enamel, two parts of the um, the artist loft white, and then I added two parts to of the um, of my pouring medium, which I used Liquitex uh, pouring medium. I did add some water, and I wanted to change the color a little bit because it had more of a yellow tint to it, and I thought that these colors. Um, they're, they're warm colors, and I didn't like the way it looked, so I added um, the Liquitex Basics Copper, and it gave it more of a, it's kind of a metallic-y, fleshy kind of color. Um, I, I think that the canvas, or the camera, isn't really picking up how the, the color of it, but it goes better with the color combination that I chose. So we will see. Um, these colors are really, really pretty, and you can see that I'm getting some nice detail there, some nice lacing cell uh, look, and I think the kind of the combination of several things using metallics, of course, is usually a good um, way to get cells, but I have my cell activator and I also have the satin enamel base is really helping out as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let you guys finish watching this. Do not forget that I have the second painting coming up on a bigger canvas after this. All right, so stay tuned. Okay guys, here we go with the dried photos, and I absolutely love this little painting. I think it turned out so pretty. The colors are so warm and rich looking, and I think the satin enamel as a base worked out really, really well. So you can see the nice detail that I got, um, so I'm, I definitely am trying it on a bigger canvas, so you are in for a treat. It is coming up next. Thank you. 
Okay guys, so here we go with the second painting and I am working on a 10 by 20 canvas. I have some swipe tools here. You can see how nice and flexible they are. Um, they are available in my Etsy shop and they come in a set of four. I do really, really love using these. They make it so easy to swipe with. I've used many different things in the past from wet paper towels to baby wipes to craft paper to cardboard. Um, and then I always have a mess of trash to throw away and with these you don't have that you just wipe them off and reuse them I love 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 it so again if you're interested I do have a link in my description to that um, to my Etsy shop all right so I am using the same colors in this painting as I did in the first one and um, I loved it so much that's why I'm doing a bigger one and um, the colors that I'm putting on the canvas now, I think I forgot to tell you, I just mixed those with uh, my regular pouring medium, which is uh, Liquitex pouring medium, full draw, and water. And um, also my swipe color is mixed one teaspoon of the Amsterdam Lamp Black with three tablespoons of Floetrol and then I added a little bit of water for the consistency. Now I usually make my swipe color a little thinner than the rest of the paints um, and that has been very, um, works very well for me. So you can see that I'm getting a, a bunch of cool detail there. The uh, lacing and the cells look super super cool so I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys finish watching this you can listen to the music and enjoy how this develops and I'll be back in a gif Okay guys, here we go with the dried photos. And I love, love, love this painting. I think the two turned out amazing. These colors are so warm and rich. And I love that antique copper from Folk Art Treasure Gold. Swiping through it brought out the purple. It looks so good with the other colors. And I got some nice detail in there as well. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts, so don't forget to leave me a comment below. Also, don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. It is free. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so when I upload new videos, you get notified because I've been working on a new product that I am super, super excited about and I wouldn't want you guys to miss out. And if you think there's someone that may enjoy my video, go ahead and share that with them. It really does help out my channel and I do appreciate it. I also have a bunch more videos that I know you will enjoy as well. And I will catch you in the next one.